The Scout Skills YouTube channel presents Scout Rank Requirement 2D. Be sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos that help you increase your understanding of Scout Skills, your skill proficiency, merit badge completion, and rank advancement. Scout Rank Requirement 2D. Describe what merit badges are and how they are earned. From the day you signed your application as a Boy Scout, you're free to start working on merit badges, and you have up until your 18th birthday to complete them. You can work on them in any order you want. The Merit Badge program today has over 135 different areas of interest, from sports to law enforcement to nuclear science to exploring the great outdoors, even basket weaving stamp and coin collecting, theater, and electronics, electricity, and even robotics. Chances are there's at least a dozen merit badges that are going to be interesting to you. With over 135 merit badges, we're sure that the scouting program is going to do a few things for you. Often, Working on merit badges leads to lifelong hobbies or even career choices. We're going to help you mature and grow because you're going to start working with different merit badge counselors for each badge. This means you're working with someone other than the scout leader that you see every week at your weekly meetings, and you're going to work with somebody other than your mom or your dad. You're going to start expanding your horizons and standing on your own as a young man. Remember, nothing's happening in scouting by accident. And with 135 badges to choose from, this is your chance to personalize the program and work on the things that you like to do. Maybe you can even try working on something new in addition to getting specialized training in something that you may already have an interest in. And the great thing about merit badges is you work on them at your own pace. For Eagle rank, there are 21 merit badges required. 13 of those badges have to be what we call Eagle badges. You'll recognize them because they have a silver band or silver piping around the edges. All the other merit badges have green. If you look at this chart, you're going to see that some merit badges show up in the same box, like environmental science or sustainability emergency preparedness or life-saving, and cycling or hiking or swimming. These are called either-or badges. So in this case, you can have either one of those badges in each box. So although there's more than 13 badges shown here in this chart, only 13 are required for your Eagle, Eagle rank. The remaining eight badges or more can be any merit badge of your choosing. Here's the process for earning merit badges. First, you're gonna pick a subject and then you're gonna tell your scoutmaster that you're planning to work on a badge. If you have a troop library of merit badge booklets, maybe booklets from badges that other scouts have completed before and they've donated to the library, look through those books. Just make sure that they're current and not outdated. If you don't have a resource like that available to you, you can look at the merit badge booklets on display at your local scout store or even scout camp or what's really easy to access is meritbadge.com. Just make sure you're always looking at the most up-to-date information when you use the websites. And when you work on merit badges, or anytime you're working with other adults, remember, we're going to follow the buddy system. Scouting asks all the adult leaders to always follow what's called too deep leadership. That means you're never allowed to be one-on-one, -on -one, just you and another adult. So find another scout that wants to work on the badge with you. If nobody else is interested, when you go to meet with your merit badge counselor, take a friend or a relative, maybe even your parents. Just remember that we always follow safety, and that means too deep leadership all the time. Once you know which badge you want to work on, and you receive your blue card from your scoutmaster, we'll explain that to you in a second. It's up to you to call your merit badge counselor and set times when you're going to work on your merit badges. 
Merit badges normally aren't worked on during your weekly scout meeting. That's for other stuff. Merit badges are done outside of the weekly program. And it's your responsibility to reach out and set times with the merit badge counselor. Remember, part of what's happening as a Boy Scout, as opposed to a Cub Scout, is we're going to ask you to grow into a fine, responsible young man. That means it's up to you to own your advancement, and it's up to you to schedule time with your merit badge counselor. It's not his job to track you down, and it's not his job to force you to complete anything. This is where you differentiate yourself from the other scouts who don't want to work hard. When you've done your merit badge work, show your results to your counselor so he can review it and make sure that you've done all the work. And remember, all the badge work has to be done as listed. So if you're looking through the merit badge requirements and it says discuss, then you discuss. If it says show or build, you actually have to show it or build it. You can't just talk about it. You do the requirements exactly as they're listed in the book. And your merit badge counselor doesn't have the right to change that. That's scout policy. When you're done completing all your work, your merit badge counselor will sign off on your blue card and you take that back to your scout master to get instant recognition. Later, shall we? There's you. And you're going to go ahead and look through the list of available merit badges. And you let your scoutmaster know that you want to start working on a badge. What he's going to do is issue this thing called a blue card. Here we're showing the front and the back of the blue card at one picture. And he's going to go ahead and get your name on that blue card. He's going to sign and date it when you start it working on it. And he's going to put you in touch with a merit badge counselor with his name, phone number, probably his address. Remember, you reach out to the merit badge counselor and set the date when you're going to start working. So you talk to your merit badge counselor and you do the work. He's going to track your work and sign off on your blue card as each requirement is complete. When all the requirements are complete, he's going to sign off on the blue card and hand it back to you. So now that your blue card is complete, you're going to take it back to your scoutmaster. And this is important because the blue card is broken down into three segments because we don't want any of your work to go unrecognized just because some paperwork happens to get lost in the shuffle. So the first thing that happens is we break off a section of the blue card and your scoutmaster gives it to your troops advancement chairperson. He's going to make sure that your advancement is properly logged in the proper records and make plans for you to get your merit badge. You're going to get a copy of the blue card as well. This is your record that you need to maintain just to prove that you've done all the work. And you're also going to need this record when you apply for your Eagle badge. So put these blue card segments someplace safe and your counselor gets a section of the blue card. So now there's three pieces of paper with signatures on it that show you actually did your work, should any of this ever get lost. And once all the paperwork's done, you're going to be issued your merit badge at the soonest possible opportunity. Remember, in scouting, we follow instant recognition. As fast as we can get you recognized for the hard work you did, this is as fast as we need to put that badge in your hand so that you can display it on your merit badge sash. You'll be recognized formally again, along with rank advancement and any other work you've done at the Court of Honor. Congratulations, you just completed Scout Requirement 2D. Make the most of your scouting opportunities by aiming to earn as many merit badges as you can. Remember, Use merit badges to try something new or get better at something you already have an interest in.